very warm welcome to the Ladies European Tour. We're in Ayrshire in Scotland this week as Dundonald Links hosts the Aberdeen Asset Management Ladies Scottish Open. The likes of Lydia Ko and Suzanne Pettersson were in town in what was an all-star lineup in the 54-hole event. Living up to her reputation, Suzanne Pettersson was out in front on day one. The Norwegian carded four birdies in her first five holes. The putter was working nicely. At four under, she was tied in the lead alongside Lydia Ko. How about this at the fourth from the New Zealander? Sheer class in what was a bogey free round. Another with a 68 on the par 72 layout. An ominous start from the two highest ranked players. So, no surprises at the top of the leaderboard, but some further down. Both Katrina Matthew and Charlie Hull shot over par rounds. <laughs> Holly Clyburn fired up the leaderboard in the second round. The Englishwoman has played a lot of amateur links golf, and her experience showed. She made five birdies on the way back to the clubhouse for a brilliant round of 67, thanks in part to some great putts. She was four under overall. Two shots behind the imperious Suzanne Pettersson. The 34-year-old continued to look untroubled on her way to a round of two under. At six under overall, she'd be the one to beat on Sunday. Pettersson then on course for her first win in Scotland. The chasing pack would have to produce something special if they were to catch her. Rebecca Artis began the day level, but the Aussies started to move in the right direction with a birdie at the third. Laura Davis teed off with high hopes, but it all went wrong at the start. Four bogeys in a row, and many more were to follow. Clara Spilkova almost had a hole in one on the fourth. A birdie was to follow. She was two under. And a perfect start for Holly Clyburn. A birdie at the second. She was hot on the heels of Pettersson. Artis, meanwhile, had undone her good work with a double bogey at the fourth. But a birdie at five put her back level. Pettersson had parred her opening two holes before almost eagling the third. A well-judged putt set up a simple birdie. She was five under and with a wealth of experience behind her in the box seat. Lydia Ko just couldn't get anything going. Despite her best efforts here at the fourth, her second bogey in her opening four holes still followed. And playing partner Selena Bar had one of those moments. The bunker at the fourth claimed another victim. It would lead to a triple bogey and shatter her confidence. She began the day in fourth. She would end in 33rd. Meanwhile, Lida Pettersson also dropped a shot at the tricky fourth, but got back on track at the next. This was another eagle chance but a tap-in birdie put her back under par for the day. While Rebecca Artis continued to motor, she birdied the eighth to move to two under overall. Some great work on the green from the Australian. While Artis was going the right way, Clyburn was hitting the buffers. Her putting skills deserted her. A bogey at the seventh, and again at the eighth. She moved back to four under and three off the lead. That's because playing partner Pettersson did this. That's the way to save par. A brilliant putt at the same hole to remain seven under. Artis was striking the ball with confidence. This tee shot at the 11th set up a birdie chance. 
It was one she couldn't take though, and she remained two under. Ko began her fight back. Her chance of winning seemingly gone, but a second successive birdie at 12 put her three under and in with an outside chance. Pettersson got into trouble at the same hole, a bogey here to add to her one at the 10th. Her approach play, for once, letting her down. The world number seven was back to five under par. Not that Clyburn was going to catch her. Her second successive bogey at the 12th, with another to follow on 14. She'd have to be content with third spot. The expression on her face told the story. But Rebecca Artis continued to take the course apart. The Australian began the day six off the lead. This was her third birdie in a row at the 14th. A wonderful approach in what were difficult conditions. She was now five under. Clara Spilkova was never really in the running for the victory, but the young Czech knew a top 10 finish would be enough to clinch a place at the British Open. A birdie here at 13 helped her on her way to fourth place. Artis had loftier ambitions. In trouble at the 16th, she produced this. A sensational birdie, now six under, the Australian was suddenly in a tie for the lead. And it just got better for Artis as rival Pettersson began to unravel in dramatic style. This was not the approach she was after, and it would lead to a bogey at the 16th. Suddenly, from leading, Pettersson was a shot behind. Artis, playing three groups ahead, had a chance for a birdie at the last. But it wasn't to be. A par, but still a brilliant round of 66, the lowest of the tournament in what were the hardest conditions of the week. Simply sensational, although you wouldn't guess it here from her face. All she could do now is watch and wait. Lydia Ko wasn't going to trouble her. The world number two, not quite at the races this week. Her approach play on the final two days, not up to her usual standard. She could only par the last to share fourth with Spilkova. Only Pettersson could deny Artis. She needed a birdie at the last to force a playoff, but she went for the green in two. It was a rare miscue. The ball nowhere near the heart of the green and instead straight into the water. A disaster for the Norwegian. Her chances quite literally sunk. Another bogey and a final day, 74. Celebrations could begin for Artis. A two-stroke victory and done in style. A wonderful round of six under proving too good for two of the best players in the world. Her parents were in the air flying over from Australia to see her in the open. They'd have a wonderful surprise when they landed. So Artis the winner, Pettersson second with Clyburn third. A great day for Spilkova and Burke. Their finishes clinched a place in the British Open. Also the case for Jade Schaeffer after she ended in a tie for 14th. All smiles for Artis as she collected her second LET title, a fitting present for caddy and husband Jeff, who turned 31 the day before. Playing the Scottish Open the week before the British is ideal preparation really. Um, what a great golf course we played here this week too. Um, fantastic links course, it was in great condition and uh, it was a good challenge. Your husband on the bag, of course. It was his birthday yesterday. What a present you've given him. Yeah, he was complaining yesterday that I hadn't got him anything for his birthday, so I think this is good enough, yeah. Gladys Nasera increased her order of merit lead over Mel Reed with another top ten finish. Artis moves up six places to third. Mariana Scott Nord missed the cut here in Scotland and she drops five places to 11th. Suzanne Pettersson leapfrogs Gladys Nasera to the top of the Solheim Cup rankings. The British Open and Pilsen Masters are now the only tournaments left in which to pick up points. It's as you were in the race for Rookie of the Year, with the two young Danes, Madsen and Pettersson, leading the way. And there's no change in the top five of the Rolex World Rankings, but Suzanne Pettersson's second place here at the Dundonald Links moves her upper place to sixth. 
I hope you've enjoyed the action here in Scotland with Rebecca Artis producing a brilliant fight bag. Next, the Ladies European Tour heads to Turnbury for the British Open. Can Artis carry on her form? You can catch up with all the news at ladieseuropeantour.com.